Hey guys, I'm here to show you the progress made so far. It's not finished, but tomorrow is the deadline to enter the epilogue contest, so I was just going to run over the mechanical and the electrical side of it and post all this up there and finish it when I get the chance. So, this will start on this side. So I'll go over the mechanical aspect of this blaster. You'll see here that there are acrylic pieces that were machined, and if you look further down the instructable, there'll be in a zipped file. Uh, I'll give you guys IGIS and uh, PDF so you can really just print it out, tape it on, and uh, cut them out. And the breech assembly that goes from back here to the front is just a PVC pipe, half inch PVC. This cutout here for the magazine well was really just made with the Dremel. I intended to use a milling machine, but it, it's too thin up here to do anything. Because it was too thin, I eventually had to add this cross beam here to give it some rigidity and I had to add this support in the back here for adjustment. You basically adjust it by uh, loosening these screws and that will give you some adjustment room. Then we move to the back here where we have the firing mechanism. The stepper motor is on the other side and I'll uh, flip it over in a second to show you. But basically it cranks forward until it hits a micro switch in there and that's what fires the dart and then once that fires it will come back reset another third will, will pop up and it's ready to go. As far as anything else mechanical, I did add these stops here um, and guides to uh, guide the magazine in properly so it won't jam. And I had added this switch on the side here, but for whatever reason, it's giving me a lot of trouble with um, passing the current through. It's limiting it. I don't really know why. But uh, as far as getting this assembly into the blaster, it's very, very straightforward and very simple. Basically, cut the front off uh, where the tactical rail ends straight down. Then you have to remove one, two, three ribs. Um, on the other side, you can see it because it doesn't have this square cut out here, but um, this rib as well. And then just snap out two pegs. There's one here and forgot where the other one was. I think it's around here somewhere. But you snap those two pegs out and on this side it just drops right in. And that's really all you have to do to get this assembly in. And it even rests it, it's kind of hard to see. Oh you can see on the other side. But you see this, this support right here? It just rests right in there. So the next step is to go over to the other side and do the same thing really with the addition of cutting out this rectangle so that the motors will fit. And depending on how thick you made your flywheels, which you can see over here, um, will determine if you have to cut any way additional plastic to get them to to uh, clear. Um, as you can see, I did not put any ribs or any you know rubber or anything. It, it really grabs the dark quite well without it. And the last part for mechanicals in the back here. Let's get some wires out of the way. I really just chopped the back off to give me some extra room for the electronics. Right now you can see that there's one bolt holding in place. Eventually I'm going to glue it in as well. And uh, as far as mechanical alterations, that's pretty much it. Ooh, and um, one last thing is just with the stepper motor. I chose the bolt on a plate, um, the screws for the stepper motor on the inside. You don't really have to do this. You can just hot glue it on you if you wanted to. But uh, that's pretty much it for the mechanical side. And, now, uh, if you go to the next page, I'll probably have a video up there uh, explaining all this bird's nest of wiring.